Aries. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is your new moon in Taurus reading, which happens on the 19th at around 11.50. I'm going to say 53, but I might be off a couple minutes. Around 11.53 a.m. This is how it's going to affect your sign. As a sign known for risk-taking and adventure, the new moon May 2023 in your second house of finances is asking you to take a moment to pause before you leap. Coming up with ideas or money-making ventures is not an issue for you. You're a cardinal sign, after all, and you're adept at thinking big. The stars, however, are not calling for that right now. At this moment in time, you're being asked to think closely and carefully about where you are making investments of your time, money, and energy, and also resources. A bit of careful planning now will pay off for you in bigger dividends later. So it's telling you basically to not, you know, just leap and start purchasing, you know, maybe save during this time instead of, you know, us just spending, you know, seeing something in Amazon, adding it to carts. I'm, I'm known for that. Um, adding stuff to our cart. And I do have Aries in my moon. Always like shopping on Amazon and then bat boxes always. And my other half is like, if I come home to one more box. But it's just like, it's so easy to do. So maybe being more frugal during this time. All right, let's see what is coming towards you for Aries during this new moon in Taurus. All right. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So like I said, like it just said, it's like planning. It's not being so um, carefree to take a leap of faith. Maybe sit down with a book, with a journal, and start planning out your ideas of what big things you see for your future. And what else for Aries? Thank you. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. <sighs> Following your heart on something. I just bought like summer type tarot cards like based around like vacation and summer you know kind of like the winter ones that I had for um, Christmas or like around the holidays so hopefully you guys enjoy them I'm just waiting for them to come in for those of you that are new go ahead and subscribe I'm grateful you're here and I do monthly giveaways this month is two free 15 to 30 minute readings for those two people that are randomly cho at, chosen at the end of the month, you can tell me what you would like your reading to be around, um, and I will focus in on that. All you need to do is be a subscriber and leave a zodiac emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during this month. It could be your zodiac sign, someone you're possibly thinking about, but just putting that there, allowing me to know that you know you're interested in the giveaway this month. All right, 11 flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Bottom of the deck is 15, key. New beginnings, directions, and adventures away for those ready to let go of the past. You know, with this planning here, it might be something that you've really thought about, you know, um, starting something, maybe seeing if you're good at something, taking a class online, um, just seeking out a new adventure that's going to bring peace to you, bring you happiness. Maybe it's, you know, volunteering at a, at a shelter for animals or at a homeless shelter, you know, helping the homeless out. It, it doesn't matter what it is, but it's saying be generous and pay it forward. So it's like giving your time maybe to something that you've thought about. Oh, you know, if, when I retire, I can actually donate my time to homeless animals or shelters or clinics or whatever. But just paying it forward somehow. But also focusing on the adventures that you have planned, that you have thought about in your mind for your future. And now putting, you know, that into motion. Not taking a huge 
leap of faith during this time, but at least start planning on it. All right, let's see what else we got. bottom of the deck is three of pentacles and it, it wanted to come out twice as I was shuffling so with the three of pentacles um, there might be someone with bringing love into the situation who is noticing you you they may flirt with you they may bring you coffee in the morning you know maybe they bring you a snack when they go to the vending machine and pick one up for themselves but I feel like for some of you you're being noticed at work you're also being noticed for your talent for how much time you invest. And I do feel you, maybe you wanna put in for a promotion. Maybe you're thinking about going to a different department. However it resonates in your life, it's like you're seeing a different path for yourself and Spirit's guiding you to take that path. Maybe it is opening up a small business of something that you're really good at where you're putting your talent out there for other people to enjoy, but it's going to bring you success. I am going to leave that out because, it, like I said, it wanted to come out a couple times, okay? Your current energy is the devil. So this could be something or someone that you really think about. You know, maybe you think about them, you try to, you know, get it out of your head and put it on the shelf, and then, you know, you, you're thinking about it again. I feel like there's really someone that you want to reach out to. You also could have been dealing with people that were manipulative to your energy, um, codependent. We will definitely clarify. Aries energy during this new moon. Hierophant. I do feel like you're spending time seeking maybe advice from friends, from family members, people that you truly trust. Like, you know, I, I really want to start this business up. What do you think? Do you think my artwork, like my play around arts and crafts could really get me money? Do you, you know, what do you, what do you think about my tarot skills? Do you really think I can start my own channel on YouTube? Like seeking advice from others. And what does the future hold following this new moon in Taurus for Aries? I really feel like it's doing something that you're good at. And look at everything that came out. First of all, we have the devil, the hierophant, and temperance, three major arcana. So there are there is a big trans just like transition coming your way during this new moon energy. It's also divinely guided. When there is more major arcana that come out than minor arcana, it's a pretty 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 like significant change. And I do feel, with me getting tongue-tied there, I feel someone's coming towards you that they want to speak to you. And it's like they're trying to find the right words to say to you, Aries. Because here's the Five of Cups. So there is missing someone. Possibly them missing you. You know, it's a burden on you, possibly them. But I do feel that it's walking away from this burden, reclaiming balance, and having that talk. It's possible somebody could have went emotionally unavailable. You could be dealing with an air sign. They might have just been so you know focused on what they had in their life that it was mind over matter. You know, I really don't have time for this. And kind of pushed it to the side. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius here. We have water too. All right, let's see what else we can get. Page of Wands is at the bottom. And do you see how this, per this little person is like an architect? I'm telling you, there's something big that you want to start for yourself. 
and this message could be for a select few of you, and now is the time. If you see it in your future, then start planning and going for it. All right, please clarify the devil energy. Maybe it's even going into business with the Three of Pentacles wanting to come out. It is something you manifested, though. It is something that you see for your future, and you're manifesting it. With the devil energy, I feel like it's something that you've been harboring within you, and it's like you've never really taken that leap of faith. But I do, I feel, and it, I feel for some of you, it's something that's going to go around the world. So it might be starting your own online business where people around the world visit your shop. All right, please clarify the higher font. Yeah, you're seeking advice from other people, people that you do trust. But you are, you're seeking advice. This is going to be a big adventure for you. I do feel it's going to balance your life. It's going to give you that added um, self-esteem, that added confidence, that added financial aspect in your life. Why is the temperance here twice? All right, so now we have a page of cups. There's definitely a new offer coming into your life. For some of you, it's going to bring so much excitement with it. It's like there is someone that's so that's interested in you and wants to move forward with you. They may be a younger water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But like I said, I also have um, fire. Earth and so take what's within your chart and the person you may be thinking about, but it is definitely within a relationship. I feel like within certain search situations in your life, you've had to feel you know, basically, you had to surrender, you felt defeated. People left you feeling alone, you got yourself together, and you moved past those. And I feel that's what's bringing in this blessing. Your dreams need a practical plan. And bring love into the situation. So again, if you're thinking about someone that you love, like something that you love to do, and you want to start maybe a small business or make a big business out of it, you're going to be very happy with the results. For those of you that it's about love, there is an offer coming in. And this person wants long term with you. All right, let's get just additional clarifiers. Ace of coins, two of cups, the chariot moving forward, and it is something that you have manifested. Anything else, Spirit, to clarify? For those of you that it's a, um, it's about a relationship. They're taking fast moving, moving action towards you. I feel like they're moving past the delay. I feel they've also brought happiness into their own life and a sense of stability. And now it's like they, they want to be all in. This person has something to offer. And look at this. Yeah, for three of wands, it's like a brand new chapter starting in your life. You could be traveling during this time, maybe going into business with someone. Like I said, starting your own business. But in terms of love, there is someone that sees you so sexy, so confident, so independent. 11-11 here. So there's definitely a soul tie with this person. It could be a twin flame. But not everybody goes through a twin flame journey, you know, in this specific lifetime. But it's, you know, your souls are going to know each other. Your souls will ignite one another. All 
All right, we've got, look at this, new beginnings, a sudden increase. Whether it be about finances or love, transformation. See, you've walked away from anything that has made you feel imbalanced. You have done the work, Aries, and with the devil energy, it's like you're walking away from anything that you feel is toxic. And that brings you in all these blessings. For some of you, you may even be thinking about relocating. But the basic, it's like, whether it be about love, relocating, business, traveling, whatever, it's like almost put it down in motion, put it down in paper, start making that plan and get it out of your head and start moving forward with it. And look at this. For some of you, it will be a reconciliation. This person coming towards you and wanting to move forward with you. Again, wanting to, and I did say, I was feeling like talk it out. Um, wanting to like balance the scales and reconcile with you. All right. Let me get your affirmations for this new moon energy and then we will pull Scrabble tiles. All right. We have satisfied. I am right where I need to be. See all that purple amethyst energy? I do feel for most of you, you've been through a time of healing. You're very content with yourself. And that is what's bringing in this blessing. And that's what has you being noticed. I am worthy. I am enough. Say these things to yourself every day when you wake up. I am right where I need to be. I am worthy and I am enough. Okay. And it says, connect to nature, Archangel Orophil. As the pattern of nature lovers, I will protect as the pattern. As the patron of nature lovers, I will protect your wilderness adventures and efforts to conserve nature. Something could have happened in the winter that of 2022 that there's like, and maybe it's distance from someone. Um, maybe you know them as a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. We have Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer energy right here. But it says winter, so I'm thinking more of winter 2022. Something that you might have started manifesting. Alright, let's see. We have N, Y, E, O, D, I, W, R, X, T, H, A, J. All right, always let me know how it resonates. Leave that Zodiac emoji down, me, down below letting me know that you're interested in the free readings this month. Um, for those of you that would like me to tune into just your energy, click on the link below in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. And there you can see what resonates with what you're going through. And I will tune into just your energy at that point. I am sending you so much love and light. I will be back for the weekend readings.